Hello everybody and welcome back to the Maldi Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Maldi Worm4975 and today we are continuing our SnowRunner Let's Play series. And today's going to be a part 2 to the previous episode. So if you haven't watched that episode, definitely go and watch that before today. Um, I will leave a link in the description to the SnowRunner playlist so you can watch all of the previous episodes. Uh, but in the last episode, we did go ahead and deliver the massive construction semi-trailer to the drilling station, basically, with the massive Pacific P12. It was absolutely awesome. That truck is an absolute beast. Um, it made that task look very easy. And today, I want to go ahead and finish up that mission. I want to see if we can construct the full oil rig and today we are going to be using the p12 again because this thing was an absolute beast in the last video so i thought why would we use anything else so the next task we have to go and do to um to carry on building the oil rig is actually collect two metal beams um so we can go ahead and collect the metal beams from um, the warehouse up here but I'm actually going to go ahead and travel to Black River because if we go to Black River we pop out of Smithsville Dam just here and the metal beams are just right here um, so it's really not that far for us to travel it's a little bit closer and it saves having to drive all the way up to the warehouse so we need to um, get one of the massive semi trailers on the back here and uh, we need one that can carry four cargo so um, ooh, I don't know if any of these okay so we can't get a we can't get like a semi trailer so we'll have to go for one of these like flatbed low loader trailers that's fine we can test the pulling power of the uh, P12 today. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and travel back to Black River and then go and collect the metal beams from there. Right, so the gateway to Black River is just around the corner here. I can't actually remember the last time we were in Black River in this episode. Yeah, in this Let's Play, sorry. Um, I think it was the first time we travelled to Smithsville Dam. But it has been a while, so it'll be nice to return. And here we are, back in Black River, Michigan. Um, I've done a lot of missions since you last saw me um, in Black River. I've obviously done all of the missions as I showed you in the last episode. Uh, but I have gone ahead and cleared the path up here so we well we basically have a nice clean route to the um, the town storage so I mentioned this in the uh, last episode um, this thing is not the fastest truck in the world I've done similar missions to this using the ANK and that thing is really quick actually it's one of the fastest trucks in this game so if you're looking for a fast truck, I can definitely recommend the ANK. It is very fast. It's a very good off-road vehicle. It does have all-wheel drive and diff locks. But this thing is an absolute beast at off-roading. It doesn't really get stuck. Um, it's just a massive truck. So it can pull massive trailers like we did pull in the last episode. Um, and if you guys haven't seen any customization of this thing and you want to watch some customization then definitely check out the last video because so we did go ahead and customize the P12 um, there's quite a lot of things you can do to this vehicle so definitely worth checking out right so just to my right here and then to the left is the town storage where we collect the metal beams from. This trailer can hold four cargo, so that is going to be enough for the two metal beams because they take up two a piece. And there we go, they are all loaded up. So now we just have to go ahead and travel back to Smithsville Dam. 
when you stare at the back of these trucks for so long you sort of start to notice little things and I have to say the tyre rack on the back of this thing is absolutely awesome I've never seen a spare rack a spare tyre rack quite like this on any other vehicle I mean obviously they're not going to put this on the back of your daily car uh, but I've never even seen a semi trailer with a tyre rack like this on the back it's actually really cool right so we are back in Smithsville Dam now uh, we need to just take this over to the drilling site and then we need to go ahead and pick up the um, the oil well the oil drilling rig basically um, it's quite a big unit uh, but we collect that just from the spare service center whatever the hell it's called just near the garage here in Smithsville Dam so it shouldn't be too bad we managed to pull that massive semi trailer through the woods in the last episode so I have very much faith that we can pull this quite small trailer in comparison to the uh, drilling site as well right so we just have to turn right down here um, basically through the farm um, we're taking the same route we did with the trailer in the last episode and I have to say this thing although it can't get a lift kit on it uh, you can't raise the suspension on this thing it really doesn't need it because I've so far not had any issues with bottoming out I'm sure like with some very tough terrain if we took this thing to Russia it probably would um, but here in Michigan the maps are fairly nice I've not had any issues with this thing I mean it's just driving through here like it's not even there so the P12 definitely a recommended vehicle for you guys if you can afford it I would definitely recommend you go ahead and pick one up it does have all wheel drive and diff locks so that does make the thing very useful and you can fit mud bogging tyres which I've got on this thing right now so it's a fairly good all round vehicle okay we have just approached the drilling site um, hopefully now we should be able to construct a little bit more of the, um, the oil rig we should be constructing the main shaft of it then we actually need to just get the drill and then it should be fully constructed so if we go over here and we go to cargo management you can see here there are the metal planks that we've got on the back we unload both of those and um, yeah we couldn't really see that but it did now construct the thing a little bit further so all we need to go and do now as you can see in the top right is actually collect the oil rig drill okay so for the oil rig drill we can't actually use the p12 because um it can't pull a saddle low trailer and we do need a saddle low trailer we need this one right here the flatbed trailer because the oil rig drill actually takes up five spaces it's one unit but it takes up five spaces so uh, we're gonna get the Tega out we use this in one of the previous episodes it's a very very good off-road vehicle if you haven't watched that episode then go and check it out because this thing is actually a bit of a beast and here we are at Wolf Grip Warehouse. We need to just go to the right, collect the oil rig drill, and then we need to take it to the drilling site. So you can see here, this is the oil rig drill. It's a pretty big piece of machinery. And we just need to now take it to the drilling site. So we're going to take the same route this thing is more than capable of making it there so I will see you when we get to the drilling site so I thought I'd just show you guys who might not have seen this in a previous episode um, just how good at off-roading this thing is this is a quite bad swamp area a lot of trucks get caught out with this uh, but the Tega here 
is making it through with absolutely no problems. I've not used the winch, I've not used low range. Um, this thing has all wheel drive and diff locks. I've got these massive mud bog tyres on as you can see. And it just pulls, it really does. It just pulls this trailer through there with absolute ease. So um, if you're looking for a good truck and you're just starting out, if you can afford it, I would definitely recommend the Tager and you can actually get this thing for free so if you travel to Drownlands just outside of the Drownlands garage you can actually go and recover the Tager all you've got to do is fix the thing up tow it to the garage and it is yours so if you're looking for a free truck that is absolutely beast then I would definitely recommend this thing right just approaching the uh, drilling site right now you can see the uh, drill is basically ready to go straight into the uh, the oil rig right there and that is the oil rig drill successfully delivered to the drilling site let's go ahead and unload this thing it's going to fully build the drilling platform there and you can see drilling operation is underway nice work the engineers are making a few adjustments to the rig but we should be up and running in no time you get 11 uh you get 11 grand for that so it is a big payout if you guys are looking for a good payout mission definitely recommend it and it actually gives you uh 1100 credits which is quite a lot in this game so um if you're looking for a good mission to do definitely recommend this one uh, but that is going to do it for today's video guys thank you all so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed if you have don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more content but thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next episode